because if any of those Americans are eventually killed, there is going to be a strong compulsion on the administration to strike not just those groups, but even into Iran. People keep saying it all the time. I hear that. That could draw us into a war would be tremendously worse for our situation than the situation right now. What we should do is get those troops withdrawn to other locations where they're more defensible and where we can be better used to our defense. Colonel, what do you say to those who say, well, they're there to degrade ISIS or they're there to prevent Iranian weapons and fighters from moving more easily from Iran into, say, uh, Beirut or Lebanon, where they can more easily attack Israel? That's nonsense. I I hear it all the time, and it's graphically untrue. If you look on the map, you see that the whole country of Syria, there's a couple of dots on the map where we have a handful of troops, 1,000 troops. And the idea that that is going to damage ISIS and somehow protect us here is just utter nonsense. I've been on the ground in that area. I've seen it. I have four combat deployments three of which were in this area on those kinds of missions. I saw when we had 140,000 people in Afghanistan, and of course what we know now is that the Taliban, the people we were going after, they kept increasing in number. They didn't go down, so the idea that 1,000 or less than 1,000 is gonna keep us safe, it's just nonsense. They don't perform those functions. That's what people wanna believe. It's just not true. Colonel, you mentioned them as a, a point of vulnerability. How vulnerable are them? I mean, are, are they are they able to strike back? Are they able to leave the wire? Or are they just receiving incoming and hoping the administration does something about it? Well, for the most part, that's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're basically providing security for themselves in there. And, of course, they do have additional air defense capacities to try and shoot down these drones. And so far, those things have been successful. But it's just rolling the dice to wonder when one of these strikes finally gets home. Now, one of these drone strikes actually hit a barracks building and God was protecting them and it didn't explode. But if that had not been lucky, we would already have had people killed. And we just don't know when the next one of those is gonna come up there.